Alright, what's going on everyone? Earthmaster here jumping in for an update video on this Saturday night. It's about 11.15 p.m. West Coast time. Got a little earthquake coming in the Puerto Rico area right here on this seismograph station called Cabo Rojo. That's the closest station there to the activity in the Puerto, Ro Puerto Rico area. Um, hasn't shown up on the Earthquake 3D globe yet, but uh, latest earthquake on that 3D globe is a 5.0. Uh, pretty close to Greece, but out there in the Mediterranean Sea region there at a depth of about 10 kilometers. A little bit of activity occurring and uh, on the ramp up out there over the last 24 hours. So uh, definitely watching that activity. Uh, prior to that 5.0, there was a 4.3 way earlier today. Uh, kind of looks like it may be on an increase in uh, multitude and magnitude at the moment. Uh, we will definitely keep an eye on it here on this channel. Uh, Puerto Rico, once again, still seeing the brunt of the activity. A uh, little bit of calming down. Um, not much, though. Once again, this is still the last 24 hours of earthquake activity. And uh, it's it's getting down there. I mean, it's, um, it's not as active as it has been. Uh, but I can't say it's completely gone away. Um, otherwise, we wouldn't see we would see no earthquakes at all on this map so just a multitude is going down a little bit maybe just by just by a small amount um united states up here uh earthquake activity in oklahoma 3.0 down there uh, looks like close to the oklahoma texas border maybe out there in the wichita mountains area of oklahoma uh it's hard to tell there but uh a lot of this activity on this part of the globe that we were talking about is uh, old. It's getting old like the wind, right? It's kind of old. Red rings indicating the older earthquake activity. And those are about ready to drop off the globe there off of Mexico. Also that uh, uh, Utah or the Utah earthquake, that 4.0, which was downgraded to a 3.9, by the way. Just about ready to drop off the globe. Uh, South America, pretty quiet. Um, I'm really surprised that didn't pick up in magnitude and multitudes there. It looked like they were kind of building up towards something big, but, uh, right now it looks pretty quiet on that end. Uh, and once again, as we switch back over here to the Western part of the Pacific ring of fire, we're looking at the uptick, uh, in activity over here. It seems like, uh, and I always, I see it happening a lot is when one side's busy, the other side's quiet. When the other side's quiet, the other side's busy. So we're back over here on the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire where we had a, a fairly large earthquake, a 6.0 strike, a little bit ago, just uh, an hour, a couple hours ago, a few hours ago. can't remember exactly when it struck there. Near Indonesia at a depth of 33.6 kilometers below the surface there. Um, kind of a, a moderate-sized quake for that area. I mean, it's it could be bigger, right? Those, those guys out there uh, definitely used to some large earthquakes. Fiji Islands showing some deep movement once again. That's always our deep point, our deep focal point out there of uh, some movement. And that's uh, definitely happening today where they had the uh, 4.7 at a depth of 537 kilometers below the surface. That's no joke right there, folks. That's a, that's a deep earthquake. Pretty deep. Not the deepest ever, but uh, it's deep for sure. And then, uh, of course, the activity up here near Indonesia with that 6.0. All this other earthquake activity just about ready to drop off the globe as well. Older earthquake activity, uh, but now being followed up by newer, larger earthquake activity uh, to the east here. Uh, there was a 5.0 that I mentioned up here in the Mediterranean Sea region. Um, like I said, just really close to Greece, just off the, just off the coast there in the Mediterranean Sea region, um, up here to the north, 4.4 near, uh, what is that up there? Greenland 4.5. So it looks like a couple earthquakes out there, 4.4 and a 4.5 near Iceland. Uh, I'm kind of waiting to see what, okay. There's the Puerto Rico earthquake right there showing up. 4.1, that's this earthquake that we've seen on that data station there. Um, uh, on the uh, seismograph station there. It's just now going off the uh, off the screen, but I do want to point that out again, that 4.1. That showed up rather nicely on the Cabo Rojo station. 
Um, as soon as that gets up and around here, Mendocino's coming up. Uh, pretty quiet out here along the north coast of California, uh, which is a good thing, of course, because that's kind of where I'm at uh, currently. Cabo Rojo is going to be the station coming up around the bend right here in Puerto Rico, and that's at 4.1 that we've seen showing up on the Earthquake 3D globe. Uh, so pretty good size earthquake, or at least a good moderate size earthquake there um, in this continued swarm of earthquake activity in uh, in the Puerto Rico area. A lot of folks not even feeling it, mostly confined to the southwest corner of uh, the island out there. Uh, taking a look at a different view of the area in Puerto Rico. Just going back here real quick. Um, zoom in here just a tad bit. This is the one day magnitude 2.5 and above 25 earthquake, well 23 earthquakes it looks like, um, of 2.5 and above. And there's no doubt there's definitely been more than the 23, but definitely lower than the 2.5 magnitude threshold there. Still relatively in the same area as the uh, prior earthquake activity that we've seen over the days and weeks. Um, and it seems as though the multitude of earthquakes have died down just a tad bit. Um, of course, what do we got here? Looks like... I don't know if that's going to be uh, left on there or not. Looks like there is maybe two 4.1s, but uh, let's see here. Yeah. Yeah, so there was two 4.1s. Um, the prior one looks like it was quite some time ago, but uh, yeah. So 4.1, uh, the latest earthquake right there in that red dot. And um, we're just keeping an eye on it, folks. I mean, nobody really knows what's going to happen. I, it's possible we're just seeing some aftershock activity following the large uh, earthquake they had there uh, earlier this month. But uh, we're continuing to watch it. It's definitely something uh, of interest there in that area of the world, no doubt. Uh, here is the latest information on Volcano Taal, there in the Philippines Island region, still sitting at a category, or category, <laughs> alert level four. I just, uh, I'm anxious for the uh, the uh, Atlantic hurricane season. I'm, I'm really hoping, folks, that I'm going to be getting out there uh, this year to do some live streaming out there and uh, finally catch my, catch my, or at least be in my first, uh, vol my first uh, hurricane storm. Uh, fingers crossed anyway we'll see what happens but uh, looking at Tao here the volcano in the Philippines Island region you, you guys can see that little map right here kind of gives you a general graph right there in the middle of the screen I can't get my pointer to work on here so we'll kind of raise this up a little bit and center it uh, you can see a bunch of circles red circles yellow circles indicating depth and also the range um, and the date range and magnitude of earthquakes there you can see here back a couple days ago, and this is a map from, uh, let's see here when this started here. Uh, one second. Looks like January 12th to the 20th is that map range, that graph range, I should say. Um, back along the 12th is when we've seen a major, um, well, yeah, major, uh, uh, eruption type stage and it slowly if you look at it folks over the last couple days including yesterday as well it has slowed down dramatically but we are still seeing some circles right which indicating the earthquakes at a rather deep depth depth and if i can spit it out here um and even some close to the surface there at zero kilometers there are a couple sizable ones it looks like a 3.2 very close to the surface there within the last day um, so activity um, at a standstill at the moment we're still seeing activity out there obviously in the uh, Philippine Islands region with Tao volcano Tao but uh, it's just we're gonna continue to watch this folks because uh, you know things may die down and it may explode all of a sudden it may be if anything, the magma may be in an area where um, it's just not strong enough to bust through. I don't know exactly, 
um, but this graph tells me that things are slowing down at the moment but uh, still an alert level four for the volcano there in the Philippine Islands and uh, it's just something to continue to watch and uh, to take very seriously as uh, things could change uh, of course in a moment's notice there so um, I am going to end this update video I don't want to go on too long here tonight uh, got a few things I got to do although I'm home on Saturday night uh, I still find things I have to uh, catch up on but uh, we will continue watching here on the earthquake live 3d stream if you have uh, any questions any concerns uh, feel free to jump on over we are streaming live 24 7 you can see the latest um, live view of the volcano there in the uh, Philippines there kind of a little bit of steam coming up out of the ground and whatnot it's uh let me get rid of that or at least drop it one there you go um, so yeah you can still see some uh, looks like steam being produced I don't know if there's any smoke mixed in there or not, but there's definitely still a lot of heat going on there uh, beneath the ground. And uh, it's something to uh, continue to monitor, and that's what we're going to do here on this channel. So anyway, folks, I hope everyone has a great, safe, happy Saturday night out there. Um, I will be here on the stream uh, off and on, so feel free to drop, drop in and say hi. Have a safe night out there, everyone. <laughs>